The Detroit Lions crush, absolutely crush the Denver Broncos 42 to, I believe it was 17. And what I would say was the most complete game that we've seen this team play this season. We go into Kansas City, we get a win. They tried to put an asterisk, you know, on the game. In my opinion, this must be what Dan Campbell is talking about when he says a complete game. And I'm going to be real. I had no complaints. I didn't know what we were going to get. I knew the Lions were going to come out. They were going to come strong, right? They haven't lost two in a row since October 30th of last year, almost over a full year, right? So I knew they were going to come out. This is, this is their second to last home game. They were, they were criticized all week by me and many others. I have no complaints today. None. I'm not even going to pick on Aaron Glenn and anything that happened in the past. I'm going to let this game be a standalone experience. And the Detroit Lions played an absolute complete game today. If I had to nitpick, I would say sacks. I would say sacks if I had to be nitpicky. But I'm not going to be nitpicky today. The Detroit Lions got to 10 wins for the first time since I want to say the 2014 season. So it's, it's been almost 10 years. I'm coming off the dome here. It's been almost 10 years, if that stat is correct, that the Lions have won double-digit games. <laughs> I'm getting kind of emotional here because with the win last week, with the win last week, we would have been popping bottles. We would have won the division today, but that's okay. We have a chance. Listen to what I'm about to tell you. All right? We have a chance to win the division to win the division next week with a win in Minnesota due to the Minnesota loss today. Lions are in 10 wins. They have officially eliminated the Bears from NFC North contention because the Bears can only get nine wins if they run the table. The Bears are eight losses and five wins. Minnesota, seven and seven. Green Bay is six and seven. If Tampa Bay, all we have to do, all we have to do is go into U.S. Bank Stadium and win the game. I have no complaints. Ify Melifonwu balling out of control. And I'm going to say this. I need y'all to do something for me. Pick a side. Pick a side, Lions fans. You're either going to roll with your quarterback or you're going to get out of town. Pick one. Jared Goff, five touchdowns, career high, no turnovers. If you want to find something wrong with Jared Goff, go right ahead. Way to come back and rebound from two miserable games. When he plays turnover free, we win games. If Melifonwu balling out. I mean, this team, Kirby Joseph, the team played a complete game, and I cannot be more proud and satisfied today. It doesn't undo anything that's happened to this point in the season, but I guess it shows you what a complete team can do for the Detroit Lions. Now let's bring in the stats from ESPN. Lions had 29 first downs to the Denver Broncos, 20. We had 18 passing first downs to their 12. We had eight, uh, 10 rushing touchdowns to their seven. The penalties were insane. Like, it wasn't probably more than five penalties in this game, and that's pushing it. That's pushing it. We had uh, first down from penalties, one apiece. Third down, we were 50%, five for 10. They were five for 13. Fourth down, both teams were perfect. Total play, 64 to 62. Total yards, we almost doubled up on them in one less drive. Yards per, per play, 7 to 4.6. Unbelievable. Um, passing yards, 233 two, uh, to 204. Jared Goff was 24 to 34 to Russell Wilson, 18 for 32. Yards per pass, 7.3 to 6.0. Interceptions thrown, none. Sacks, 2. And two, rushing 185 on the same. Wow, look at this. The Denver Broncos have the worst running defense in the league, and it showed today. They give up 133 per game, and it showed today. Yards per rush, we doubled them up. Red zone, we were perfect. I say, oh, oh, my God. Wow, I didn't even know that. In the red zone, they've been abysmal in the red zone. So I got to get them a, oh, my God. Wow. Unbelievable. A perfect six for six. Penalties. They were there were six accepted penalties in this game. And one turnover, which was a fumble caused by Ify Melifonwu and picked up by the big man. Time of possession was pretty much the same 
on both sides. I'm going to say this, man. I'm going to say this. Aaron Glenn, good game. Good game. Way to redeem yourself. Isaiah Bugs need to be in the game. That's period. That is point blank period. Put Isaiah Bugs in the game. He needs to be in this game from here on out. I, I just, I don't know how to feel. I don't, I, I really, I mean, I really don't know how to feel. This is what a, a complete team win, team game sounds like. We got what, two sacks all day long. I, I, I can't even believe that I'm, I'm saying this, that the Detroit Lions have an opportunity, have an opportunity next week to win the NFC North. I want y'all to sit back and appreciate that. Man, we've been through a lot this season. We've had our ups and downs. But we got a, a real chance to do something we've never done before. What, no matter what happens in Minnesota, I think they're going to do it anyway. But I, you know what? I think they're going to do it next week. They're going to win this game, and we're going to be popping bottles. And I plan to be there. I plan to be there. Ten, nine and a half hour drive, but I plan to be there. So with that being said, man, congratulations to the Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions fans, man, for sticking around. It was a bumpy road, and we almost there. We almost there, man. I have no complaints this game. Zero. It's not like the Saints game where we up and we give it up. I got zero complaints, man. This was a complete team win. And everybody across the board, I don't think there's enough game balls to give around. Sam Laporta, absolute dog. And shout out, shout out to the Lions. I took a chance, needed a win to get into the fantasy, my fantasy playoffs. And these boys performed. Performed. And you know what I'll say? Anybody else doubting Jameer Gibbs, stop. If you doubted Sam Laporta, stop. And I know y'all not going to do it. I know you're not because you want to see something else. But if you doubt Jared Goff, stop. Not only has he beat Patrick Mahomes in a head-to-head, he's 2-0 against him. He put a career-high five touchdowns. That's something he never did in L.A. So shout-out to everybody on the team, man. I have no complaints. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. It feels great to win.